actually working out. Hello, and welcome to Star Wars Dark Forces. <sighs> you actually click into the game just to make sure. Okay, Dark Forces. The new order of the Empire stretches its evil clutches across the galaxy, consuming planets with devastating results. Through many struggles, the Rebel Alliance has learned of a new Imperial battle station, the Death Star, with enough power to destroy an entire planet. Okay, I just tested something, I'm sorry. Unable to acquire the plans to the deadly space station, the Rebels have employed the skills of Kyle Katarn. Known to most as a mercenary for hire, Katarn is a rogue figure who has a partial alliance with the Rebels. Armed only with a blaster pistol and an intimate knowledge of Imperial methods, Katarn prepares to infiltrate the Imperial base in which the plans are kept. I haven't recorded this much at all, I swear. I have done too much recording with this. <sighs> anyway, here we are. This game takes place sometime at the beginning of the mission to destroy the Death Star. So, fifth movie, fourth movie, I don't know. First or second, going by the original trilogy, not counting the prequel trilogy, episode 4, episode 5, whatever it is. When the Death Star was destroyed, that's around the time that this is happening. I'm the guy who gets to get the plans to figure out where to hit the Death Star, and then destroy it. Well, I don't get to destroy it, you know, it's not that cool. But, this is a, uh, in case you haven't noticed, from the music and everything, this is a very old game. Okay, so... I don't know why I just said, I just did some research and stuff on the game, so I have something to talk about. Um, just stuff about this, Operation Skyhook, all that. Background, battle plans for the Dead Star, look like that, yada yada. Once you have plans, taking them back, taking plans back to Princess Lutinium mission. All I gotta do, find the Dead Star plans, and return to the base. Easy. 1995. Just two years after Doom came out, starting the launch and popularity of games like this, FPSs that were focus. I don't know. I don't know. Commentary. It's expanded on ideas Doom created and all that with the FPS genre for the computer games. I'm playing it on an MS DOS version of it that came with the Steam download from the Star Wars collection I got. It's very innovative in for its time, like, it's run on the Jedi engine that was made specifically for this game. I need the red key. What? What do I... Ah, uh, right. I guess I got the red key somewhere out here, I don't know where it is. Um... Just the red keys up here. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm trying to get in here. But, uh, and it's said that it one of the things it added was the added to the genre was the ability to look up and down, which I have not seen at all. <laughs> but I guess I don't know. Maybe it's just because the version I was running on. Apparently this also came out on the PlayStation in 96. So, it's really not that old of a game for just, I don't know, it is an old game, but I mean, it's only 19 years ago when it was made. So, yeah. For, for an FPS, it's got its quirks and stuff, like most of them do, where you really don't get any information on what you're supposed to do, where you go, how to do anything. <laughs> Just like the fun innovation that you have to, have to figure out everything in this game yourself, which makes it fun. And it also adds a level of frustration when you're trying to make a quick enough playthrough to get two episodes in, but... Oh well. I'll get over it. 
I mean, I pretty much did a speed run, doing a speed run of this level right now because I've done this like four or five times now. And I'm hoping to God that this is actually working. Like, the recording should be on the window right now, and my face should be blocking how many energy units I just got. Normally I pick up 15, by the way. Um, yeah. There it is, the Death Star plans, yay! Finally, I can get out of here and get back to my ship, just like Kyle Katarn just said. Okay, these guys take three bullets to kill. These take two, if I can just hit. Energy units, yay. Because we don't know how to label ammo ammunition anymore. Er, I mean, at first, we never knew how to label ammunition at all. So we just call it energy units. Instead of blaster ammo or something like that. And hey, look at that. I beat the first level in under six minutes, alright. Um, yeah, not like I'm going for a run, uh, speed run, but I would like to actually... Oh hey, it's Darth Vader. Alright, I should probably be paying attention to your your Thank, Thank you, Lord Vader. What I have failed to do is a mark of the era of the Empire. We will be able to decimate the rebels just as we did the Jedi. At last, the Emperor's war will be built over with the door of the Empire. Thank you, Lord Vader. What I have failed to do is a mark of the era of the Empire. We will be able to decimate the rebels just as we did the Jedi. At last, the Emperor's war will be built over with the door of the Empire. I'm glad you're cool, General. I hope the demonstrations will proceed. With pleasure. Dr. Pope, Right, so I created the Jedi game engine from scratch just to add new elements because when the game was released, it was deemed a Doom clone. They started production of this back when Doom came out in 93. They started this game in September of that year. So, in order for it not to be just like a Star Wars adaptation of Doom, they added the ability to jump, duck, swim, and look up and down, which I am not getting. I can only look left to right, but the auto aim thing helps greatly. And multiple floor levels, like levels with multiple floors, was something they apparently added that Doom didn't have in the beginning when its original game release. Very, very so, say this time. Uh, the voice acting in this game you'll see is wonderful. Touch voice acting 10 out of 10. The Empire has been keeping on the run in the destruction of the Death Star. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret citizens in the city of Calais. Poor Commander Akbar. If only they him. It was a trap. Indeed. Many things in the surrounding cities where the rebels are killed. Interesting. This looks like it might be a normal area to attack. Except for the sound. Very very simple, Commander. I knew that the Empire would understand that we need to get a weapon. The sound of the will come from their weapon. A new type of stormtrooper. The Dark Trooper. A new stormtrooper that can take out a lot of things that quickly. I should have had a report for the Empire. Ha ha. They have been right to hire you. To shut it down. That is, that is, it is a good thing to see on our stand. This could be 
could be interesting. Alright, All right, I'm, I'm in. in. I'm in. I think I'll be helping out with this one. I'm going to have to answer your mission. Your mouth. And then words come out. Then I'm going to have to answer your mission. Thank you. Thank you. Commander. And then we'll see you with you. And the force be with you as well, my lady. Apparently they created the new character, Kyle Katarn, because originally they had planned to have Luke Skywalker be the main character of this, but apparently that would be doing stuff, but I can't even use my mouse wheel to scroll on these. Uh, raid command, may read for constants of area, swarming imperial activity, some systems are down, hydroelectric generator, turn back on, that thing. And then, oh, come on, gotta find out stuff about this new dark trooper they've been Victor. So, restart hydraulic generator, find clue to the dark trooper, return to landing area. Easy enough. Looting, looting. Alright, here we go. On to the mission. Okay, I just, um, calibrated some things, and I am now able to... There we go. Oh, crouching, that's me. X. Okay, how do I jump? How do I jump then? Okay, that's how you fire too. Um, I, I, I guess I'll just keep using spacebar for this, but now I can use my gamepad for this. Forget it. I'm not even going to use my gamepad. I've already gotten used to the controls on this. Halt yourself. You there. You there. But, you know, for an old game like this, I don't really think it would be right to use try to use the gamepad. You stop where you are. You're dead. Just, you know, games like this, they were meant for all people to play. I mean, MS DOS and made for the original Apple computers and all those. Yeah. They didn't really have very many mouse controls. Well, the idea of using that, you just look left to right every time. I would like to know the crouch button on this, though. Is it shift? No? That's an interesting thing to find for the gamepad controls that I don't know how to do for these controls. But now I think I know where I'm going, so I can turn on the hydroelectric generator. Raider. Nope. No. Sorry about getting lost, guys. Um, and anyway, wasting so all my commentary. Um, you're in violation. You won't. Uh, this is not the right area, actually. I went the wrong way first. Yeah, this is off to a great start. I just went the wrong way. Sorry. Um, you guys. Alright, you guys, hey, you guys, come on, you guys. Uh, I got... Where are you going? I just killed your friends right in front of you, and you decided to just... I'm gonna fuck the stormtroopers, guy. guys, I swear. Yeah, yeah, I'll stop. You're not even gonna question how I just got through all of your allies and your friends and whatnot. Uh, stormtroopers, they're the, they're the smartest bunch out there. Right. So when you need pesky rebels exterminated, call 1 800 Stormtrooper. That's 1 800 can't hit a thing. Okay. Let's run through here. Walking up here. Ammo. I thought there was ammo up here. Oh, it's over here. And there's guys in here. Alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll be glad to stop and let you shoot me. So, I thought you took three shots to kill me. What happened? Skeletons! Skeletons everywhere! That's actually kind of disconcerting. Why are there skeletons everywhere? What? What created all those skeletons? It's such a horrifying thought. These guys, they are some sick freaks. Alright, you're here. Sorry about getting lost. Um, I think there it is. Am I authorized somewhere else? Bye bye, you're dead. 
it's amazing. Even through my third run through of this level, <clears throat> I mean, second, first, <clears throat> something like that. I haven't failed it this multiple times. No, not at all. I just can't get recordings right. But it took me ages to do this, and now I just. It's really not a good thing. I'm bad. I was always bad at these games. Like, I remember sitting around playing Duke Nukem 3D all the whole time. I could only. I beat the first level. I played that game so much, I could beat the first level on instinct and memory. But when it came up to all the rest, I just. I couldn't beat it. I can remember sitting around with my cousin and just playing it all the time. And now. We always just played the first couple of levels. And it was set up like this too. I remember you could look up and down and all that and it Not in this <laughs> Fighting flying aliens. Here's the other thing they added that supposedly made this game so much revolutionary that it became a really big bestseller and like for like three, four years it was a bestseller for PC games. Swimming! You can swim in this. It's just a revolutionary idea. Get in water. Swim. Like, nobody had ever heard of swimming until they did that in this game. Whoa! Whoa! God! Whoa! Hi! Hi! Uh... Four? What, what are you walking for? Like, like, you weren't here like any of the other times I played. I haven't played this enough to know that, for a fact, there's, like, everybody here. I'm not faking reactions. <laughs> I'm not a horrible YouTuber. I am not a stormtrooper, so why was I missing so horribly? Okay. See, guys, I'm not a stormtrooper. I just line up the x-axis coordinates, right, and it'll all the way to the closest enemy. I'm not... I'm not almost out of ammo, no. Nah. Alright. Wow, I've actually cleared out this room before I could even... Dark Trooper weapon, yay. And then, where was I going? Uh, I came from... this way, I think. Right. This is, you know, this, this is a really fun game, actually, for it to be so old, you know? I'm not that picky about the games I play anyway. Like, as long as it's fun and entertaining, then it's an alright game in my book. And this is. Like, it's got a good story with it. And it's it's an FPS. You can't really expect too much out of it anyway. But, you know, the cutscene, that one cutscene took like almost five minutes, which is, I don't know. I didn't play Doom, so I don't know. I didn't play very many FPSs in general, for that matter, during that time, but... Wait, crap. Um, but that very long cutscene, it's something you don't really see very much of. You didn't really see very many of those in the older games genre. Or the older, not genre, but the older games in general. Like, they took a lot of care to make this a Star Wars game, and even including that scene with Commander Akbar, even though they didn't take the whole thing, they they changed it around to where it was the video recording that he was sending out for them to let them know that shit was going down. And that was that was pretty cool for them to do that. And then immediately uh, the year after they released that, I think it was something like that, they came out with a sequel to this, which I have as well from the the Star Wars collection. A lot of these actually, but that's it for this game. Um, actually, okay, that's it for this game. Thank you all for watching and.